There we go. Wonder if there's any audio on this. Probably not. That's a good question, huh? Without audio. Well, if there is audio, then I'm just taking some footage of us walking back. We're almost done. We've been walking for about uh, a little over three hours. We've done uh, about four miles and maybe one to go. We're headed back to the uh, backcountry area to pick out a camping spot. But uh, first we're going to go by the car and grab some food that we left for dinner. So we're at uh, Morgan Monroe State Forest uh, doing the Low Gap Trail loop. Which we didn't do the loop, it's a 10 mile loop. We did uh, just short of half of it and then we're turning back. So on the day we'll probably have about five, five and a half miles in. So there's Cubby, he's been doing great. There's Jane, so is she. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'll uh, pick up some more footage when we uh setting up camp and making dinner and stuff, so. Okay, here's something else kind of cool. Looks like somebody's building on something. I don't know if we're on private property right now or not. I mean, we're on the fire trail right next to the... Oh, but it looks like it ends right here, doesn't it? No, there it goes. There it goes. It goes down around the corner here. What does this say? Boundary. State Forest Boundary. Okay, all right. Well, somebody's had something interesting going on here. Although it looks like it's been a while. The remnants of that chair with a big hole in it. It's very interesting. There's that green and white awning we saw. It was an umbrella mm -hmm. earlier. The trail is over that way, about maybe 30 yards. We're kind of walking parallel to it, but we chose to take this fire road because it's flatter. Yeah. And we're kind of tuckered out, so. But, uh,. Yeah, here we go. This will take us back up to the, where that pond is. Yeah. Alright, just wanted to show you that cool stuff there. Okay, I just thought I'd throw some of this on here. We just, uh, coming down the, uh, fire trail, taking about a, I don't know, maybe a half mile or so off our return trip, and we came across the remnants of what used to be a house back here. Uh, there's the fire trail, and, uh, there's an old propane tank, and, uh, a collapsed house with a bunch of trees and stuff, and you can also see what looks like a, an old, uh, oh, look, there's another building down there, like an outbuilding, and also a meter and a telephone pole right there. There's the meter. Oh yeah, she just pointed out there's some fresh building supplies over here, like maybe they're gonna do some repairs, some two by fours and some uh, conduits and some a whole bunch of rebar. So I don't know what's going on, but just something interesting. We're still. Uh, on our way to the uh back to the uh back country area so we can camp for the night. Okay. This is the uh little site we were at. This is a backcountry area, so you're allowed to camp anywhere that's, you know, off the trail. But uh, there are several established sites. We are maybe a couple hundred yards from the parking lot where we parked because we went to the other side of the road and did the five, about a five-mile hike and then came back down this path. This goes into the backcountry, which is about a uh, four and a half, five mile loop as well. But we turned off here 
and are using this is about the third site from the parking lot um, just to get away from the cars and everything you can see this is well established lots of fire action but uh, it's quiet and empty today there's another little bridge over there I don't know if you can see that in the distance right in the middle of the screen there there's a uh, another little uh, creek down there that we can go get water at but we're gonna set up over here somewhere I set the hammock up so Jane can relax while I figure out where I'm gonna set up the tarp the tarp tent probably right there or right here somewhere where it's soft so anyways I'm gonna get to it and I'll show you when we're done <laughs> 